Hi, Kathleen here. I'm going to make a grass brush today and I'm going to use a brush from the fast and simple brush category called Conte. I'm going to make a new file. I have one that is creating dabs. It's measured in pixels and it's 1024 by 1024. And the resolution can either be at 150 or 100, but no more. I'm going to do mine at 100 today. Move this over so you can see it. I'm going to drop down these advanced brush controls so that you can see the dab preview. I'm going to use the Conte brush to draw my dab image with. And the reason I chose this one is because it has the type of beginning and finish that's on it just so that I can have just a nice one stroke. My size is about 16.3 and I'm just I'm going to lay this down and stroke upwards and you see how it's fat at the bottom and I twist my brush a little bit and it gets a little smaller at the top. So I'm going to add another layer just so that I have a little bit more control over what happens with this thin blade of grass. I'm going to sweep up like that. Now I want to take this and do a little bit of manipulation on the blade itself. Go to my transform tools and over here to my transform here and hit rotate. Hit enter after you do that. Make it a little bit thinner and I'm going to hit enter. And now I'm just going to make sure that it's, it's centered as much as I can get it centered. And then I'm going to drop this so that it's on the canvas layer. We can't make a dab unless it's laying flat on the canvas. And then I'm going to come up here and select all. I've got this selected. Now what I need to do is come up here and choose the brush that I want it to mimic its settings and I'm going to use the captured bristle from the acrylics and gouache. I am going to make this brush larger so that it fits in here pretty good into this little preview right here. Since this is already selected, I'm going to go to brush and capture dab. And as you can see, it puts the dab right here in this window. So let's test this out. I'm going to add a layer, sky blue background, and I'm going to come back up here to my brush, and let's pick a green, and you can see my little circular button is at the top, and here, here I am. Okay, so this is really light. The natural opacity of this captured bristle is at 35. So I'm going to bring it up. It's still pretty light. Okay, now what do I need to do to fix that? Let's go over here to the general panel. One of the reasons it's lighter is because it's a grainy soft cover. And I use soft covers a lot. But right now I'm going to make it a grainy alpha blend so that you can see it. Now, let's come over here and grab another color and there we go you see how dark it is okay now what else can I do to fix this brush more like it should be so I've made my brush darker by using the grainy alpha blend and I'm gonna come up here and let's look at the size in the shape that's pretty good let's go over here to angle and you can see the angle that this is right now. Let's see what happens whenever I move it this direction. Okay, so it begins to stand it up a little bit more. Depends on how you want your brush to lean. If you want it leaning to the left, it's okay to do this. If you come over here, I'm gonna leave it at about this 7%. I'm going to make the expression at rotation because I use an art pen. I wanna be able to manipulate which way this brush leans, left or right, or, or more straight up and down. I'm going to give it a range of 360. Let's see what happens now. Okay, so we got a good 
pretty good flow going there. Now what if I want this to jitter a little bit? Let's come over here and if you look at the little drop down menu that comes out here, you can see the little angles of the ovals can be a little mixed up. Uh, let's move this over just a little bit. Let's try 5%. Okay, now you see the little jitter. So that's kind of nice for grass. I think I'm going to do it at about 4%. And I think I'm going to leave it there. Because as you know, grasses don't all blow exactly the same. Let's come down here to the color variability. Let's change this U variability to about six. Now when I manipulate this slider here, this is our U ring within our color wheel. So this U ring, when you up this, it will pick up from both sides of this green. If I move it down here, it will pick up more of the blue and the green. So let's see what happens here. So you can see the variability that's in there. So if you run this up, you can get quite a bit of variation in color. I don't think I want mine that much, so I'm going to move it back down into this area. So you have the option to bring in more color or take some color away as you paint. And then there's also value variability so that your brush strokes will be lighter or darker. I think I like what's happening right here. So the next thing I'm going to look at is the stroke jitter. The stroke jitter will make these little strokes as I move down, go up and down and not all be in the same line. And so just to show you what can happen with a really Strong stroke jitter, there your grasses can go all over the place. Uh, this would be great too for a really full field, but I'm going to move mine down here because I can always go back in and up that as I'm using the brush and then just set it to reset it to the original settings. So I'm going to leave mine like this, and I think this will make a nice field, a great mixture. Then I can also tilt it to make it look like it's uh, blowing, blowing in the wind. And then you can also take this image and flip it and make a brush with the grass that grows the other way. So now I want to save this brush. So what I want to do is go up to brush, save variant, and I want to put it in my brush creations. And I want to give it a grass brush name, nice field brush. And I'm going to say save. I'm going back to my captured bristle brush and I'm going to reset it so that it goes back to the original. That way I don't have to worry about it whenever I pull it out the next time. And then I'm going to come down to where I saved my brush that I just made, my brush creations. I'm going to move down to Nice Field Brush, right click on it, and say Export Variant. And I'm going to save it in one of my files here where I save my new variants. And then put it there, and there I have it backed up. And then should I want to add it to another file, I'll say right click, Save Variant. Then I'll move it down here to maybe under the tallow tree brushes. So I hope this helps you create your own grass brushes. Uh, this is just the tip of the iceberg and using your advanced brush controls and general brush controls can really take you a long way in learning how to use and make and manipulate your brushes to help you in your painting.